Hey folks, welcome to Relevance for today. Thanks for tuning in. I've got an important message. Going to be talking about that thing, that muscle that's inside of our mouths, folks. Stay tuned. It's a message about that tongue. Okay, folks, thanks for tuning in to another episode. It's great for you to tune in. Had a great time with our grandson. He's gone back home now. So, hey, guess what? Time to get back down here in the studio and get cracking. Got some messages for you folks. Going to be some great messages coming up. In fact, we're going to be doing a series on depression. A perfect time to talk about depression, especially with everything going on right now in the world. It's crazy, as you all know. And so there's a lot of people dealing with a lot of stress. Depression is on the rise, of course. So I really want to address that important topic, as well as we'll be doing some interviews with some folks, because depression has touched many people's lives, including mine. And so it's going to be nice to be able to talk about that. It's going to be nice to do some interviews. It's going to be nice to find out how we can treat people who may be in depression and how to ask the right questions and how to have a relationship with them. So that's an important podcast coming up, podcast series, because I think I'm going to have at least three or four different people on, different interviews at different times. So other than that, everything else is going great with us here. Let me know how you all are doing. Um, I really want to know, uh, how are you all doing right now, whatever country you're in? How are you holding up? How are things going in your country, in your town, in your home? How's everything going with you with this whole COVID thing? I'm concerned and I would like to know. So if you want to either send me a private message or just put it right in the comment section, get a conversation opened up because many of my listeners and viewers have a lot of compassion for others. So they will actually read your comments on how you were doing and they will probably get in touch with you or they'll probably write a message down there for you of encouragement. So that would be nice get some participation going. Okay, so key verses today. We're going to be talking about the tongue because as you all know, there's a lot going on in the world right now in the United States, not the entire United States, but certain key cities, there's civil unrest, there's rioting going on. We know it's a mess. It's a bunch of craziness, people running around. You got people who are protesting safely, and then you got people who are out to do damage and to hurt people, and people are dying What started out as one person dying turned into many people dying for many different reasons, whether it's breaking the law or being an innocent bystander. There's been children who've been shot in their homes, and it's terrible. You don't hear about that much in the news because, hey, that's not part of what's going on, so that gets swept under the rug. So please be praying for those families out there who've lost loved ones. Um, I know recently there was an 8-year-old boy who got killed. And uh, it's sad. It's terrible. The, the news doesn't cover the children being killed. And of course, many children are being killed daily in abortion. And so there's a lot going on. You know, everybody wants to stand up for people being hurt and people being abused. But what about that child who doesn't even get a chance in this world? And you all know that's a strong thing on my heart, abortion, because of the fact that you listening and me talking right now, somebody, our parents, gave us a chance to have a life. They gave us a chance to live. So I just want to throw that out there. That really bothers me a lot because they don't get a choice. You know, they don't get a choice to come out and be a part of this world and make a go of it. So I'm not going to get all sad and mopey. We're going to go ahead and... <laughs> start off. Oh boy. Okay. Let's go ahead and dig right in. Okay. So we are going to be in James. We're going to start in, I'm going to be reading out of the New Living Translation out of my slim line here. And we are going to be reading, oh boy, I'm in the wrong place. We're going to be reading James chapter three. Okay. It was actually there a few minutes ago and I ended up moving around. So James chapter 3, verses 2 through 12. 
and then I have a commentary to read from you out of the Wearsby Study Bible. Really good Bible, just got it in recently. So, James chapter 3, verse 2 through 12 says, Indeed, we all make many mistakes. For if we could control our tongues, we would be perfect and could also control ourselves in every other way. We can make a large horse go wherever we want by means of a small bit in its mouth. And a small rudder makes a huge ship turn wherever the pilot chooses to go, even though the winds are strong. In the same way, the tongue is a small thing that makes grand speeches. But a tiny spark can set a great forest fire, and the tongue is a flame of fire. It's a whole world of wickedness corrupting your entire body. It can set your whole life on fire, for it is set on fire by hell itself. People can tame all kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and fish, but no one can tame the tongue. It is restless and evil, full of deadly poison. Sometimes it praises our Lord and Father, and sometimes it curses those who have been made in the image of God. And so blessing and cursing come pouring out of the same mouth. Surely, my brothers and sisters, this is not right. Does a spring of water bubble out with both fresh water and bitter water? Does a fig tree produce olives or a grapevine produce figs? No, and you can't draw fresh water from a salty spring. And so he was warning about controlling our tongues, especially as leaders, ministers, teachers, as representatives of Jesus Christ. Okay? His warning was that if we're not careful, as all of you know, if we are not careful, we will spew the worst things out of our mouths. And I could say, well, this is a hundred and this is the hundred and fifth podcast. So I could literally say wonderful things to you all for the last 104 podcasts. And I can get on this podcast and start talking about elections and who's going to run and the left and the right and all the craziness going on. And it would literally cause disruption, confusion, division. And all I've got to do is say, hey, I'm voting for this one or I'm voting for that one. And the next thing you know, people come unglued. People will say hateful things. And it just goes on and on. And it's crazy because we sometimes we need to learn how to zip the lip. Stay focused. It's easy to get sucked in. I'm telling you, you I'm talking to them, preaching to the choir. You all know exactly what I'm saying. It is so easy to get wrapped up in what's going on in the world right now. This one says their life matters. Meanwhile, a baby's getting killed. Babies' lives don't matter. It's just a mess. This one agrees with this one. These people were treated this way. That person was treated that way growing up. This one was treated a different way. This one was raised that way. And the list goes on and on and on. And if you don't say the right thing, depending on who you're talking to, that tongue is going to come out of somebody's mouth and give you a tongue lashing. And pretty much, it's not going to be pretty. And the sad part is, half the time, people are speaking out of turn because, hey, I like my Jesus coffee bacon naps cup. Okay? Somebody wrote, we're not supposed to eat bacon. We're not supposed to eat pigs. You know, or someone else said family should be on the cup. And you're sitting back, and of course, those are just simple opinions. But at the same time, if you come at somebody with something, instead of saying, hey, we have the freedom to live the way we want to live. We have the freedom to choose which candidate we want to choose without someone else ripping our face off for it. And it just goes on and on and on. And it's crazy. And so that's when we all, and I'm speaking to Christians right now, speaking to myself, and I'm speaking to any follower of Jesus Christ, you remember to focus on Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ and him crucified, raised from the dead. He is your Savior and Lord. We're supposed to live like he lived. We're supposed to be like Christ. We're supposed to do what he did on the earth to the best of our ability with the power of the Holy Spirit. So that means we shouldn't be out lashing people. We shouldn't be out hating people. We shouldn't be out just mouthing off and showing a side of us that, like the description says, evil 
evil can come out of our mouths. We can break someone's heart. We can hurt someone's feelings. We can tear someone to pieces with our mouths, with that tongue. That is a powerful weapon. There could be someone in your life that you look up to and all of a sudden they say one thing to you and it crushes you. Parents, be careful what you say to your children because it impacts their lives in ways that you never know until one day you maybe you find out. But we just have to focus. So I've got a passage. I want to read the commentary portion out of the Warren Wiersbe. I've got, I left the cover here so you all could see it. Warren Wiersbe, I've spoke about him before. Great minister, great man of God. The Wiersbe Study Bible. And I got the hard copy. It was on sale for 20% off at Christian Books. And I put it in my little leather cover here. But he has a good commentary portion and I just want to share that with you so it says the power of speech is one of the greatest powers God has given us with the tongue people can praise God pray preach the word and lead the lost to Christ what a privilege but with that same tongue they can tell lies that could ruin a person's reputation or break a person's heart the ability to speak words is the ability to influence others and accomplish tremendous tasks. Yet we take this ability for granted. In this section, we see the importance of controlled speech and consequence of our words. Very important. I'm, that sums it up, really. I mean, you can either speak love, right? You can speak love. I've got a few things written down here hope. You can speak salvation, just like he said. You can also cause division, hatred, evilness, broken hearts, hurt people, devastated people. You can devastate someone. Think about that. You have the power with your tongue to devastate the people around you by saying the wrong things without thinking first before you speak. It's very important, folks. We've got to learn to harness our tongues because you'll go out. Remember, I've got this little saying. You never know who you're talking to, so always represent Jesus. Always represent Jesus. Very important. You could be talking to someone and then treating them terribly, say a few terrible things to them because they didn't bag your groceries right or... You had to wear a mask in a certain store and you're upset about it, so you fly off the handle. And then that Sunday, you may be at church doing your social distancing thing and in walks the person that you just treated like garbage at the store. And they look over and they see you and they think, huh, that person's a Christian? What? Represent, right? So we have to represent, folks. Remember that. And don't just be nice just because. Well, I'm going to be nice because I don't want to get caught saying anything bad. No, remember, God knows your heart all the time, 24-7. He knows the hair on your head, every hair on your head. He knows the number. So remember, he knows your heart as well. He knows what you're thinking. When you're cursing somebody out in your brain, he knows what you're thinking. But at the same time, treat others the way you want to be treated. Be respectful. If they don't believe what you believe, cut them some slack. Is that what it's all about? Everybody has to believe the way you believe? You know, do you have a list that says, okay, I've got this, 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 and this. Okay, next. Okay, you got this, you got that. Oh, you're voting for this one? Oh, well, I don't like you anymore. Blah, 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 and they start tearing you apart. No, that's not what it's about. Represent, show people the love of Christ, and get on with your life. Harness the power of your tongue. You have an amazing power in your mouth. Harness it. Focus on the good things. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Love them. Telling you, it's time. This is the love season. Love them. Get out there. Share the good news about Jesus Christ. Show people why they should want to be a follower of Jesus Christ. Good stuff. So, look through my notes here. See if I had anything else. Didn't want to leave anything out. Yeah, and, and like I said before, don't get sucked in. That's important. Don't get sucked into what's going on in the world right now with COVID and everything. Always keep it in the back of your mind. 
COVID is real, but COVID has over a 99% survival rate. Okay? So keep that in mind. Squash the fear. Stay focused. What can you do to help others? Connect with somebody. If you need to connect with people, if you don't know where to turn, you need to find people who are in need of food, clothing, and things like that. Send, write it in the comment section or send me a message. I can definitely get you connected with some places. Um, we're connected with a place in the Philippines that we're helping out a village. Very important, folks. Right now, if you have something that you can share, share it. There's people out there that are definitely worse off than you. If, if you're watching this video or you're listening to this podcast, then you've got some type of gadget that you can afford to use to be able to hear me talking or watch me talking. So you're better off than some who have nothing, living in villages with dirt floors and just making ends meet on rice or whatever it may be. So think about that as well. And that's it. I'm going to wrap that one up. So let's go ahead and pray. So Heavenly Father, just thank you so much for being able to share this message today. Thank you for all those out there listening and watching. Heavenly Father, we know that we're living in a sinful world, a hurting world right now. And we need to see your love. We need to see your light in the followers of Jesus Christ in his world. Heavenly Father, raise up some men and women, young and old, that are going to be a light in the marketplace, just as I've been listening to lately, out in the streets, doing the kingdom work that you called us to do because people need to be reached. Heavenly Father, help all of us to learn when to speak, how to speak, and what to speak so that we'll show love in everything we say and do. So Heavenly Father, just thank you for this opportunity once again. Bless all those who are out there listening and watching. And I just thank you for all these things in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. There you have it, folks. Harness the tongue. Stay focused. Stay the course like I did in my last podcast. And I talked about that, staying the course. It's time to boots on the ground. We got to get focused on God's word. Get in it. Don't know where to start. First John don't know about Jesus Christ, check out episode 82, The Great Hope, where I share the gospel. Very important message, folks. If you know someone out there who doesn't have Jesus Christ in their life and you're uncomfortable sharing the gospel with them, share with them episode 82, The Great Hope. It's time, folks. People need Jesus. People need the love of Jesus Christ in their life. They need salvation. Let's get the word out there. Let's help them out. Let's show love. Harness the tongue. And take care of yourselves. Hey, love you all. Thanks for tuning in. God bless. Peace.